All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my new tutorial on um, database introductions. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use a database with your Discord.js bot for uh, just pretty much a general usage. So a lot of people have been asking how you can use your bot on uh, more than one server without having issues because some servers need different data than others. Um, so th you need a database to be able to, uh, to do that. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a custom prefix command. So any server using your bot could have a different prefix. Um, and that could be very useful because some bots will uh, counter affect each other. So let's say you have ME6 bot on your server. You can't really use the exclamation point for a bot because some commands like help and, and basic ones will write multiple commands from the bots. So to get started, uh, basically just open Google or whatever and just type fire, Firebase and then press enter. First one's an ad, so let's give this one. Second one is the link we want, firebase.google.com. And here you can uh, simply log in on the top corner here. I'm already logged in, but you need a Google account to log in. So, uh, so if you guys got uh, YouTube accounts or whatever, just log in with that. And then you'll just click go to console. This will load and take a few seconds. From console, um, here I have a bunch of other projects, but uh, you'll probably have nothing here. Just a click add project. And here I'm gonna call it episode one. And I'm gonna accept the terms and policies. So you're one project away from the project limit. Oh shit. All right, um, what's it gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, Firebase is free for general usage. Um, you can make a lot of different little projects on it and it will never cost you anything. If you make a big big company off this, well, you might start to have fees, but with all my bots I've done using Firebase, I've never had even come close to maxing out the free plan. Except I guess right there I'm, I'm one project away from maxing out, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, um, so from here you go to database um, it will ask you to create a database. So we just click create a database, start in test mode. Locked mode means you have to validate accounts to use it, but anyways, you'll need to have a, a service key. So we can do in test mode, which will allow us to write and read from the database without having to validate anything. While I wait actually, so I'll have this link in my, dis in my Discord, uh, and on my Discord, my video description, I mean. And for this video, I'll be using a database tutorial bot, which is the same thing as my plain bot, but I stripped out a lot of things into it, so it does not affect with the bot. So um, just uh, click here on the clone or download. You can download it. I prefer cloning if you, I feel it's more efficient. And then let's just open uh, term uh, the git bash. And then if you already don't have this, just uh, uh, just download it, go on Google and type git, just, uh, uh, sorry, not github, git. And is this thing here, you download it, it's very simple, and then after that you'll have that, that little terminal window I open. Okay, so our database is, is empty now, and you can see it here, I'll come back to that in a second, because we have a, we have to set up the bot first that we'll be using it. So, um, if I go back to my git bash, here okay so I already made the video for this thing and I realized afterward that I filmed the whole video in a wrong format and I wasn't able to convert save audio and everything so I have to refilm it so you already see that I already have episode one here so I'm just gonna make a new uh, a new my directory and I'm gonna call it ep1 remake and I'm gonna cd to ep1 remake and then I'm going to git clone space I'm gonna paste it uh, you need to specify a directory so for some reason it did not copy let's try again okay so git clone paste okay this time it worked all right, so now if I uh, type ls, you see I got database tutorial bot. So let's go into the database tutorial bot. So I just type cd change directory and then the name of it. Here I wrote ls just to list the items. 
then from here I'm just going to type code space dot. This will open me a VS Code window for the bot. So let's open it up quick. All right, so now we have our our project open. It's pretty much a blank file. There's a few things we'll need to do to before we begin. So you see your JSON uh, settings.json file. Just delete it right now. Just right away. We don't need that. And we'll need to create a new folder called CMDS for commands. When I made the git repo, I accidentally deleted this folder. It should be empty. That's what we want. All right. So few things we need to do. We're going to open a new terminal. Scroll it up. And so from the git repo, I've already have uh, the discord.js modules installed, but I don't have all the other ones that we'll be needing. So the terminal window is very small, so I'm going to write them right here, show you what I'm going to install. So these don't write this in the code. This is simply just for the NPMs. So the first one that I'll, I'll go into NPM install. I'm going to install Firebase and then save. Whoops. Okay, I'm also going to npm install Firebase admin and then save. And I'm also going to npm install dot nv and then save. Okay, so now I'm just going to copy this, paste it into the terminal, press enter. Okay, as you can see, uh, 139 package, blah, 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 zero vulnerabilities. All these warnings don't matter because just because have the other other things that the programs could be using. So now I'm just going to paste a second one. Okay, same thing. This one seems to have worked fine. And then let's do the .env package. All right, so we got everything installed. I'm just going to clear this because it's a big messy window now with all these things. All right, and now... I'll delete this. It was literally just for purpose for you guys to be able to see since the terminal window is, seems to be really small. All right, so now to get the code going. So before we start modifying our index file, we're going to create our .env file. So the name of the file is .env. I know you guys can't really see on the size, but this, this font seems to be good enough. All right, and inside of this, we're going to have token equal. We're going to have... Uh, owner equal and then I'm going to fill these in with uh, information from my bot that I already made so this is the info token for my test bot and this is my owner my discord ID save that open your index file here we're using settings to import so we're gonna just delete this whole thing right here so where I import bot settings, the data, just close that. And then here we're just going to uh, import settings, but our settings are now in an NV file. So before I type this actually, so we keep it more proper, I'm going to require, I'm going to require the dot NV slash config. And then that's all I need. So now, oh, a uh, typo here. Config. Okay. All right. So now, in import settings, we're going to create a constant called owner, which is going to be our process dot env dot all capitalized owner. Oh, I don't know. It changed it for me automatically. All right. And then we're going to constant, and we're going to make a token. Same thing, it's process. Uh, env dot token capitalized. Okay, and uh, since we are going to be using the Firebase, we also need to uh, initialize that. So let's take care of that right now. So I'm just going to write initialize database, which is our Firebase. So we're going to create a constant called Firebase, which is going to require the Firebase slash app. 
Okay. And then we're going to need a few other ones. So constant field value. This one we won't need it for this tutorial. This uh, variable right here. But it will come in handy for the part two when I show how to make a, a user validation. So like uh, instead of using the add roles, which is not really fun like great for uh, a bot since you have to turn it on and off every time. We're going to make a better version using a database. So here we're going to use our Firebase slash uh, dash admin. And here we're going to dot firestore dot field value. Okay, so next we need the admin value, which is how we were going to log in into our uh, into our database, which requires using the Firebase admin. And the very last one is going to be our service account. And this is where we connect th with the admin. So this is going to require a file. So for now, I'm just going to put dot slash because let's get that file first. Um, okay. So back over here to our database, we're going to click project settings. And then from project settings, we're going to go service account. Make sure you have uh, selected Node.js and then generate a new private key. Download it. It will make a file pop up here. You can't see it on my uh, screen, which doesn't matter. But just uh, open your VS Code. Um, okay, so I'm just going to save my file so I can know which window it is because I have multiple ones open. Slide the window just a little bit grab that file and drop it in you see now I have episode 1 some weird crazy code let's click on it rename it and we're gonna name it service account.json so this is what the key looks like this is how to connect to that database so as you can see now I can access that service account.json file okay so these are full th the four things we need to originally initialize to get the database working. And then we need to now connect to it. So we use admin, and then admin, we want to initialize the app. From there, we parenthesis curly bracket, and we have to use their credentials. So their credentials for this is um, admin.credentials, and then our certificate. And our certificate is our service account. So. Here, oops, here we're connecting, so we're requiring our service account file, which is this crazy JSON. And it's here we're using it as a credential to log into. So uh, don't put semicolon at the end. It, sorry, that was a mistake on my end. Inside curly brackets, it never takes semicolons. And then second thing, we're going to declare our database now. So our database, I'm going to name it DB since we're going to type that quite often. It's our admin.firestore. Firestore is a cloud database from uh, Firebase. All right, so make sure you type it this way with the parenthesis. And now we have oh, remove the settings.json here since that file does not exist. All right, so I'm just making sure we got everything perfectly fine. Seems good. Okay. So to get things started, we want to firstly save information to our database when a new uh, guild is added to the bot. So to do that, we're going to use an event. So after this curly bracket on line 74, uh, the curly bracket parenthesis, that's closing our message event here. Right underneath that, we're going to create bot.on. I'm going to scroll up a bit so it's more obvious. <coughs> All right. And Vada on, and here we're going to use a guild create event. So whenever your bot is added to a new guild, it will it will automatically run this event. So here we're going to use a sync, and I'm gonna use uh, g data as the variable. So g data is just gonna be guild data. 
And over here, we're just going to open a arrow function. So first things to use a database, we need to type our name of the database, which we call DB. And then when you write a collection, it's if you open this again, you will see, um, so click on database on the side, add a collection. Since my collection is empty, the very first one that I'm going to write will be automatically created. So I'm going to call it guilds since that's where I'm going to store all the data for guilds. And then the way to separate guilds is through the document value. In the document here, we're going to use the ID of the guild. So if I use g data dot ID, now I will write the ID of that specific guild. And that's how I'll be able to have multiple guilds and select which one I want. And then from there, we're simply going to set value. Because using a database, we're going to generally set, get, and update. That's pretty much the three things you need to do with it. So to set, we open a parentheses with curly brackets. And here we can choose what information we want to store. So let's store a few things. So let's grab the, the guild ID. And then the guild ID is just the, the gdata.id. And then we're going to store we're going to store also the guild name, which is gdata.name. After that, hey, wait, that window pops up because it's blocking everything I previously write if you don't follow as fast as I write it. So then we're going to grab also the guild owner. And guild owner is going to be gdata dot um, owner dot user dot username and here I'm just going to explain it quick so this field is what I write this will be shown inside of the of our collection so you can write whichever variable name you want for it I just find these are kind of they look kind of how the discord interface works so it, it makes sense and this is what we put into it here our gdata value is a link to the guild that's created so that's why I can access directly the name of it and the ID of it without having to go like message dot guild dot and select the guild it's directly to the, the one in uh, that's instanced right here so after we get the owner we can generally a good one to have is the owner ID since if you ever need to contact the guy using an ID is generally better since the guy can change his username anytime he wants. So uh, G data. And then here we're just going to grab owner dot ID. And then we'll do um, the prefix one, which this is the important one. Actually, before prefix, I see some people kind of like to have the guild member member count. And here we can use the prefix, uh, the preset value. So the gdata dot member account, which is a function we'll, that will give us the count of how many members are in. All right. So now the very last one, the one we'll be using in this tutorial, is prefix. Prefix here, we're gonna initially set it up to exclamation point since that's one I what I generally use, but it will change. So we'll start with that. Now you can. Uh, use semicolons to close the code. Not really important because it's JavaScript, but I like to do it. Okay, so we created the guilds and now we have the prefix. So I'm going to create here uh, a new command. We'll test the bot at the very end instead of doing test midways. So the new file I'm gonna call is gonna be set, set prefix dot js. So the name of the file, I'll write it right here so you guys see it better. Set prefix .js. This is how the file is named. All right, so while I was editing the video, I realized that the video is going to be more than 25 minutes. And I don't know how to uh, post videos longer than 25 minutes. For some reason, it doesn't work. So this video will be turned into two parts. So make sure you watch the next part. It should uh, be in the recommended, uh, not in the recommended, but on the the end bar of this video so uh, if you like it up till now just uh, make sure you drop a like on the video it really helps thank you